I'm Michael Frudenberg and this is Film Masters. On today's episode, we're making a clone trooper's voice. It should sound something like this. On today's episode, it is requested by our master subby, I Down TM, that we're going to be doing a Clone Trooper voice today. That's right, a Clone Trooper voice from the hit TV series, The Clone Wars. Now, one of the things that you need to understand is, as with all the clones, they are originally from Django Fett. Now, Django Fett's original voice is a New Zealander. So therefore, we might need to make sure that the accent is of New Zealand origin. So, in order for us to do that, you'll need to do a little bit of practice to make sure that you can get your New Zealand accent down pat. And then, we're going to jump straight into the tutorial. So, let's begin. Now, first things first, let's go to File, New, Audio File. And I'm going to call this Rex Clone. And make sure the channel is Mono. And select OK. I'm going to record the voiceover. My name is Rex, but you'll call me Captain or Sir. So I'm pretty happy with that clone trooper accent. So let's play that back and see what it sounds like. My name is Rex, but you'll call me Captain or Sir. So we're going to add the first effect now. So we're going to go straight up to Favorites and select Telephone Voice. So we're going to play that back now. And uh, we're going to then bump up the sound. So let's do that. Increase it. But you'll call me Captain also. Excellent. Now the next step is we're going to go up to Effects. Filter an EQ. Then select Graphic Equalizer 10 Band. In the preset, select Low Fidelity. And select Apply. So let's play that and see what that sounds like. So that's how we make a clone voice using only two effects in Adobe Audition. So let's go to multi-track and I'll call this Clone Trooper Rex and I'll leave everything else the same, select OK. I'm just going to drag that file now straight onto the multi-track. And that's it. So let's go up to File, Export, Multitrack, Mix Down, select Entire Session. You can call the file name whatever you want and the file location. You can uh, save it to your desktop or wherever else you want to save the file. Once you've done that, select OK. And that's it. That's it. All done and dusted. If you want to become a Film Master sub, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is subscribe to our channel. You need to like us on Facebook or Twitter. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, any comments that we see, for example, like the one that we received for this tutorial, uh, we'll make sure that we uh, give you a bit of a call out in regards to it um, and also put that tutorial together. And until next time, don't just film it, master it.